Estate Radio. Every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. If you've got a real estate question, give us a call, 281-882-8088. We'll be happy to answer your real estate questions right here on the air every Sunday. And if you've got a real estate question and you're down here this weekend at the NRG Center at the 19th Annual Texas Home and Garden Show, you can stop by the Windy Vent booth here and uh, right here where we're broadcasting the show and ask your question right here in person to one of our realtors who's here to help you. Our realtors are also here giving away the free home value report. So you can also get that report. If you're not down here at the show this weekend, if you're not going to be here uh, later today, the, today's the last day of the show, if you're not down here later today, make sure you go to our website, rrea.com slash value, and we'll be happy to send that over to you. It's a, a great report that we can just email directly to you and get you lots of great information. You can also tweet us your questions using hashtag H-R-E-R if you're a big Twitter person. All right, today we've been talking a lot about real estate and realtors and the home valuation report and so much information going out there to you. I want to change gears this segment. I am joined by Jeremy Logston, and he is from Preventative Pest Control. And we're going to be talking about some of these issues you're having because all this rain we've been having. So welcome to the show, Jeremy. Thank you. It's great to be here. So tell me, what are people going to do after all this rain? What, what are we going to do to keep these bugs from coming in our house? Well, moisture as well as uh, heat are two factors that really uh, get bugs reproducing, mm-hmm. and you'll see them a lot, a uh, lot of activity in as well as outside of the house. And so that's one thing that we do that um, on both both aspects, inside as well as outside, that can really help to put a barrier to keep the bugs out. So I bet y'all were busy this summer, right, battling the mosquitoes and and all the bugs from the summer season. Absolutely. This summer was just like a lot of the others. We a lot of spiders, a lot of ants. And uh, just had a lot of, uh, had a great successful summer with uh, providing pest control here in Houston. So preventative pest control, you guys are all over the Houston market, is that right? Correct. Yeah, we service pretty much anywhere in and around Houston. So what are what are some of the things that people can do if they see um, if they see an increase in mosquitoes right now because of all this rain we've had? Correct. So. These last few days, we, is, we haven't even been able to service very much at all just because of the rain all yeah. day. So there's going to be a lot of standing water mm-hmm. whenever it does stop. This uh, standing water creates breeding grounds for mosquitoes. So uh, in and ar- uh, around the outside of the house, we do have a mosquito uh, mister program to where we can go around, hit all the uh, areas where mosquitoes will be nesting, mm-hmm. and also identify areas where they may be breeding to help reduce the mosquitoes around the house. It's a very effective service we have that we come out monthly for to take care of mosquitoes around the house. You know, with real estate, I saw a lot of new construction homes, and my agents saw a lot of new construction homes, and, you know, really pest problems are something that we hear a lot from them because, you know, they they the builder just took a big piece of land and started sticking houses on it and cleared a lot of trees and things off. So what right. do you see for, the, for these new homeowners who buy these new construction homes? How do you help them? One of the big things that we notice right away with uh, new construction, um, after we get the, the initial pest problem cleared out, are rodents. Because, you know, the trees and brush, these natural habitat areas for uh, rats as well as mice, um, have all of a sudden have been taken, and they, they hang around for quite a while after that. Mm-hmm. As soon as the temperatures drop, which it will within the next maybe three to four weeks here in the uh, yeah, As we head area, into fall. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What will happen is these rodents will be looking for another habitat, and that comes uh, naturally to, the, to your home in these new construction sites. So what we do is we will come out and, and uh, provide a free rodent inspection for, uh, for anybody that calls. And uh, we, we really recommend doing what we call a rodent exclusion service, where we'll come out and, and identify any possible areas where they may be getting into the home mm-hmm. and um, you know show those you know what's what's going on we also will repair those areas as well as um, place uh, do like a, a bait program around the house put some uh, in in these boxes that we have here they're secure they take keys to open uh, so you know animals and kids can't get into them of course but they're highly effective because these rodents are, are nocturnal mm-hmm. so in the evening they come and feed on these and uh, we try to keep them from getting into the house so they get altogether. trapped in that box no, they don't get trapped okay. in there. No, they actually come and feed on them, and okay. then they go. And they go die. <laughs> right. But we try to we, we do a program to, to do our best to keep them from dying inside the home. Okay. All right. And you offer a bi 
bi-monthly service. So someone can join your company, uh, get the service bi-monthly. Why bi-monthly and not quarterly? Well, what we've found, we've been doing this for 13 years in Houston. A lot of companies will offer you a quarterly program, and, and most all the listeners may be the listener right now. That's what they have. Mm -hmm. But what we've found, I use a, a, a product that has the best uh, residual, meaning it's going to last the longest mm -hmm. in the industry. I don't know of any other company that... So there is nothing that will last for three months? Well, it, it's very unlikely. Under ideal conditions, maybe. Mm -hmm. But we know in Houston from March yeah. through <laughs> October, it's less than ideal. We have the heat, humidity, the UV rays from the sun is what breaks down the product the quickest, as mm -hmm. well as the moisture. So what I found is we, we the bi-monthly, every two months, is really what the home needs to protect it, to maintain that barrier around the perimeter of the home. Because as soon as that, as soon as that product breaks down, there's nothing protecting the home, yeah. and you're thinking that it is. So we've priced our service accordingly to, to be very comparable to a quarterly, mm -hmm. but you're getting two extra services from us. It just means more attention to your home. That, that we can come out there for you. So when you when you spray outside, tell me about that because I know it, it's hard to get um, the extermination companies to, to, to really cover the outside. You know, you'll have an ant bed pop up in the play area, you know, and right. you don't want that. So right. what do you guys do different? Well, a, a lot of companies and your listeners just think about your bug guy when he comes out. Is, is he using a backpack sprayer or a little handheld sprayer? Mm -hmm. A lot of companies do. And it's not because that's the best way. It's because it's the cheapest way for them, mm -hmm. right? So what I do is all my trucks have what we call a power spray system on it. We're going to come out. We're going to put product around the perimeter of the home, about two feet up on the house, four to six feet out from the base of the home. Mm -hmm. And we're going to uh, do a power spray barrier around the home. And then in addition to that, we have um, granules that we'll put in the yard okay. for fleas and ticks as well as fire ants in the yard. And fire ants are an issue, especially if you have kids. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've set up my program to where anytime in between visits, uh, even if you know, we're not scheduled that month, you see a, a, a mound pop up. Uh, you call us. There's no extra charge. We'll get back out there and take care of it for you. I've got kids. You know, I, I understand you want to make sure that your home is a, is a safe environment right. for your kids to play in. Yep. And uh, we, it, it's our responsibility to make that happen. So if you see any problems, it's no charge anytime in between to, to have So you go out. back and reservice. You have a reservice guarantee. Yeah. And, um, and I assume it's safe for pets? Correct. Yeah. With the, the product we use... Uh, pyrethrin-based products. We keep we keep the pets out of the product until it dries. Once it's dried, um, it, it, there's no problem uh, for, the, for the animals to be out there at that point. And you address fruit flies too, right? We do, some people yeah. have issues with that. Yeah. I'm not going to name any names. Some people have issues with that. <laughs> right. right. We'll, we'll take care of that. <laughs> th that that's an issue that's uh, it, it's an inspection issue. We'll come out. And, if you have bugs, there's a reason. Yeah. They're a lot like us. Uh, they need food, water, and shelter. If we can take one of those three things away, they'll go away, and we'll, we'll help you. If somebody wants to find you online and get the, sh the show special that you're offering, what's the website? The website is www.preventivepestcontrol.com backslash Houston. There's a web form on there that they can uh, fill out their information. And if they uh, let us know that they found us from the Houston Home Show, uh, we'll get them started. Uh, don't tell anyone else, but we'll get them started <laughs> for a dollar if they get started with our uh, bi-monthly service program. All right, fantastic. Jeremy Logsdon, he is from Preventive Pest Control. All right, we'll be back next Sunday here on Houston Real Estate Radio. And next Sunday, we're going to be talking about the big Zillow Trulia merger. So make sure you tune into the show. Going to have a lot to talk about with Danny Frank and Shally Rao from uh, the Houston Association of Realtors. All right, if you missed any of today's show, go to HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors.